in the field of zoology, the Quran says in Surah Anam, chapter number 6, verse number 38, we have made every animal that lives on this earth and every creature which has wings and flies in the air to live in community like the human beings. Today we have come to know that the animals and birds, like the human beings, they too live in communities. The Quran says in Surah Nahal, chapter number 16, verse number 68 and 69, it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has taught the bee to build its cells in hills, on trees, and human habitations and to eat of what the earth produces and to find the spacious path of thy Lord with great skill. It was recently, just a few decades earlier, that a scientist by the name of Fawn Fresh, he got the Nobel Prize for describing the behavior and the movement of the bee. And what does the Quran mean by saying it has taught the bee to build its cells in hills, trees, human habitations, eat of what the earth produces, and find the spacious path of the Lord with great skill? Today, after science advanced, after Fawn Fresh described the movement of the bee, we have come to know that whenever a bee finds a new garden or a flower, it goes and tells its fellow bee the exact direction of that garden and flower so that it could collect nectar by a process known as the bee dance. What we have come to know recently, Quran says, it has taught the bee to find the spacious path of thy Lord with great skill. Today, in science, we call it the bee dance. And previously we thought it was the male bee which was the worker bee. Today we have come to know that it is not the male bee, it is the female bee which is the worker bee. And the gender used in the Quran in Surah Nahal, chapter number 16, verse number 60 and 69, is fasluki and kuli, meaning a female bee. No wonder Shakespeare in his play, Henry IV, he mentions about people talking among themselves, about the bee, that the soldier bee, the male soldier bee, they go and report to the king. Today we have come to know it is not the male bees which is the soldier bee. They are the female bees which are the worker bees and soldier bees. And they don't report to the king, but they report to the queen. Imagine, even the gender of the worker bee, the soldier bee is mentioned in the Quran as the female gender which we have come to know recently. The Quran says in Surah Namal, chapter number 27, verse number 17 and 18, before Solomon marched his host of men, jinns, and birds. And when they approached a lowly valley of ants, one of the ants said, O ye ants, get into the habitations, lest Solomon and his host will trample you beneath the feet. People would think, what kind of a fairy tale book is the Quran? The ants speaking among themselves? You know, we have fairy tale books. So what type of a fairy tale book is the Quran? The ants talking and speaking among themselves. After science advanced, we have come to know the animal or insect which has the closest resemblance to the human being is the ant. The ants bury the dead the same way as we human beings do. They have a sophisticated method of labor in which they have supervisors, managers, foremen, workers, etc. They have a sophisticated method of communication. They very often even meet to chat. They have marketplaces where they exchange goods. You know, souks, we have marketplaces. Even ants have got marketplaces where they exchange goods. And if in monsoon, during rainy season, if while storing the grain, if the grain gets wet, the ants get the grain in the sunlight to dry, as though they knew that humidity will cause the rotting of the grain. And if the grain begins to bud, they chop off the bud as though they knew that budding will cause the rotting of the grain. Imagine, Quran speaks about the lifestyle of the ants 1400 years ago, which we have come to know recently. The Quran says in Surah An-Kabut, chapter number 29, 
verse number 41. As to those who take for protectors, anyone besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they build for themselves houses like that of a spider. For verily, the house of a spider is flimsy. Besides the Quran saying that any human being who takes for protectors, anyone besides Almighty God, Allah, they're building for themselves houses like that of a spider, talking about the web. And the house of the spider is flimsy. We know that the web is a very flimsy house. But besides this, today we have come to know that many a time the male spider is killed by the female spider. The relationship of the husband and wife is not good in the spiders. So besides the Quran talking about the flimsy physical nature of the house of a person who takes the protector besides Almighty God, is also talking about the relationships in the house.